Hey folks, we're live along the Rio Grande in the middle of Cameron County where it's about as peaceful as it can be out here. Just see a couple of fish jump out of the river and that's really about it. Very, very quiet day out here, but a very warm day out here as it has been all across the valley. Unseasonably warm temperatures today topping out the 90s across a lot of the valley. Now let's take a peek at where we are right now temperature wise and you see the readings across the area range from 82 at the beach to 94 in both McAllen and Rio Grande City. So certainly warmer in the west than the east, but that's pretty normal for any day, let alone this time of year. Closer to the coast you get, the closer you say to the water temperatures. Now two points at this hour and this again is kind of a true measure of the amount of moisture in the air and they're mostly in the 70s, the exception to Edinburgh at 69, but boy, look at that uh, on the island, the dew point 77, and that's kind of a July like dew point, certainly muggy, especially as you get closer to the coast. Put that on the muggy meter, and the average dew point is 72, so we're all up in that very humid range and likely to stay there for just a little while longer. Now, let's look at the heat index because this is what it feels like when you combine the warm temperatures with the humidity, and it feels like 100 right now in McAllen. And remember, we're cooling off. I mean, we're almost to sunset. We peaked a couple of hours ago. So so really earlier today, uh, the feels like temperature, the apparent temperature, the heat index was well above 100 across a lot of the valley earlier this afternoon. Now the good thing out here right now is I feel a pretty good breeze and that's been the case across a lot of the valley. We look ahead the next three days and at least 90s are out of there. The record setting days are gone. Instead you're looking at 88, 88 and 86. Still above normal, but at least not up in record territory. And I think those 90 degree readings are probably gone for a while. Now as we watch Valley Future Track, it shows what we expect to happen cloud wise as we go through the next two or three days. And you're going to notice a little bit of an increase in moisture levels tonight and into early tomorrow. And I think tomorrow our chance of rain is up a little bit because we're just adding more and more moisture to the mix. The upper atmosphere is cooling just a little bit. Things are coming together just to give us a slightly increased chance of rain for tomorrow and probably peaking tomorrow because after that we go into tomorrow night and Friday you still see some moisture around you still see spotty showers but not as much activity on Friday and probably not much around on Saturday either so like today there's a shower or two in the region but it's not widespread. Even Saturday, you see spotty stuff, not widespread rain again. So your rain chances the next three days look this way. Uh, not real good except tomorrow. And even at that, not everybody gets rained on, but the thing about tomorrow is there's enough moisture that if you do get rained on, it can be heavy. I mean, a thunderstorm is a definite possibility tomorrow, so we'll be keeping an eye on things for you and you keep them, keeping you posted should anything strong develop. But again, there is potential for heavy rainfall as the atmosphere is really loading up with moisture right now. Well, look at that map of Texas. And there's a front in the state. By golly, it's through Amarillo. It's 53 while it's 79 ahead of the front in Dallas and in uh, San Angelo and then a little farther to the south 80s and then of course down here in the 90s. So what is a front to do this time of year? Well, you would think it would push through and really cool things off. Well, it may push through, but it's going to die as it does. So let's watch what's going to happen the next 24 hours. Front pushes southward. Moisture really increases in South Texas, so we see scattered showers around the area tomorrow. Again, not everybody gets rain, but if you do get rained on tomorrow, it could be heavy. Then the front gets close. There it is on Friday. It's almost here. And then what happens? Well, let's see. And not so much. It washes out, moves out in the Gulf of Mexico. But even at that, it keeps temperatures below instead of the 90s will be in the 80s, so at least closer to normal. But that's still not that one front you've been looking for, but it'll keep it comfortable. You know, a lot of folks in the country envious of the nice weather we're having right now with temperatures in the 80s and 90s. We're not cooling off anytime soon. If you're headed to the beach, let's check out what's going on out there in the morning. Temperatures at the island running about 81 degrees, a southeasterly breeze. UV remains high. The rip current risk is down to moderate. The surf temperature is 83 degrees. Your afternoon temperature is in the 80s, and we're still there tomorrow evening with that pretty good breeze out of the east tomorrow at about 14 miles an hour. Here are the tides. There's a low at 11.07 a.m., then a high. Seas running 3 to 5 feet with a moderate chop on the bay. The bay temperature is still a warm 84 degrees. So here we go. Tonight, I think we're mainly dry. We're warm or humid. 75 for a low tonight. And then during the daytime tomorrow, not as hot as the last couple of days. Instead of being up into the upper 90s, we're looking at upper 80s with a shower thunderstorm and heavy rain is a possibility if you get caught in one of those thunderstorms tomorrow. The next seven days look like this. I think our best chance of rain is tomorrow, but the chance is in there all the way through the forecast period. We cool things off to about 86 degrees. I think on election day, there could be a shower thunderstorm around and the models are suggesting a decent chance of rain in the middle part of next week, all in all. Now this weekend, of course, Saturday night, Sunday morning, that is when you set your clock back one hour. Don't forget about that. But again, tomorrow, probably our best chance of rain of the next four or five. And then the chance comes back in earnest the middle part of next, day, next week. That's it. Live from along the Rio Grande in Cameron County, Tim Smith, Channel 5 News at 6.